Hello, my name is Daniel Fernandez. I'm the owner of scienceinhydroponics.com and today I'm going to be doing a video about a very important concept in chemistry which is concentration and I'm going to be talking about the basics of concentration and especially how we use concentration in hydroponics and in the preparation of hydroponic solutions, why we use certain concentration units and why we don't use others. So first of all, concentration is simply talking about the relationship between two things. We have some in hydroponics, we always have aqueous solutions, which means that we have water, which I'm going to represent by these white balls. And this is what we call the solvent in solution chemistry. And then we have some other thing, which is, for example, a salt, which I'm going to represent by these black dots, which is what we call the solute. And the combination of these two things is what we call a solution. The concentration is the relationship between these two things. So it's the ratio between the solute and the solvent. And this is also what we call an intensive property, which means that no matter how much solution you have, the concentration of that solution will always be the same. If you measure it once, it will always be the same, no matter how much solution of that concentration you have. Okay, so if we think about this uh, in the terms that I've explained it, uh, the smallest relationship that you could have here is something like the ratio of the molecules or the atoms of a solv solute against the molecules of solvent. But this is not accessible to us, we cannot measure it directly. So instead we have access to two main properties which are first the mass of things, so we can measure the mass which is a macroscopic property and we can also measure the volume which is another macroscopic property. So in reality we express concentration as ratios of these things. So commonly there are four ways to do this, so we have for example, the mass of the solute and we can express this as a ratio to the mass of the solvent. We can also have a concentration expressed as the volume of the solute against the volume of the solvent. We can also have a concentration expressed as the mass of the solvent as a ratio of the volume of the solvent, oh sorry, uh, of the solute. <laughs> and we can also have this as um, the volume of the solute versus the mass of the solvent. So in hydroponics, we usually use salts as the solute because uh, this is usually what fertilizers are, they're salts. So measuring the volume of a salt is pretty hard. So we never use things where we need to measure the volume of a, the solute. So these are units that we never use in hydroponics. They are volume to volume concentrations are used in many other areas of chemistry, but we do not use them in hydroponics. So we mainly use things where we are concerned with the mass of the solute, with the mass of the, of the salt. And then we measure these as ratios to uh, the solvent uh, to the mass or the volume of the solvent. These are two things that we could use. And these two, uh, preparing a solution with known concentration using any of these two ways would be fairly easy. You would just need to weigh the solute and then weigh the solvent and then mix them together. But we really do not do it this way. We actually, in hydroponics, use a concentration expressed as mass of solute over the volume of the solution. So the volume of the solution is the volume that you obtain after you perform this mix. 
So why do we do this? Why don't we use any of these two? Because these two seem really more straightforward. Like it is very easy to measure the volume of the solvent. It is harder to measure the volume of the solution, the total volume. So why do we do it this way? Well, it comes down to a problem that is the problem of dilutions, which is the fact that we want to use concentrated solutions and then go to more dilute ones. And we want to do this uh, very efficiently. So let's say, for example, that we have, and I'm, I'll show you how we see this when you have things expressed in this way. Let's say you have a solution that has a concentration of uh, 10 milligrams per milliliter of calcium chloride. So you have 10 milligrams of calcium chloride per milliliter of solution. And that is going to be a solution A that we have. And we have, let's say we have prepared a thousand milliliters of this. And then we want to prepare a solution that is a hundred times more diluted. And we want to prepare a thousand milliliters of this. So we want to prepare a um, one liter of, of the solution B and this solution is going to be a hundred times more diluted. Well, I can just take 10 milliliters of the solution A, put them here, then add water till I get 1000 milliliters and then I will get this dilution. Why? Well, it's very easy given that we have 10 milliliters, we can actually, we know that the concentration is 10 milligrams per milliliter of calcium chloride and we can multiply this by 10 milliliters and we now know that there are 100 milligrams of calcium chloride in these 10 milliliters. And then to find out the concentration here, so the concentration here will be equal to the mass of the solute, which is 100 milligrams, over the volume of the solution, which is 1000 milliliters. And we have here that this is equal to 0.1 milligrams per milliliter of calcium chloride, which is 100 times more diluted. So it is very intuitive because we just took uh, 10 milliliters and then we took this to 100 times the volume of this and this gave us a solution that was 100 times more diluted. This would be very hard to carry out with either one of these two uh, different units because these units do not tell you anything about the solution. They tell you about the solvent and they tell you about the solute but it is hard uh, to go from this to, um, to the calculations that actually allow you to prepare these dilutions. Now, this uh, concentration can be expressed in several different ways. We can also express this as uh, 100 milligrams per liter, um, which Uh, which is equal to 100 ppm. So this ppm unit is commonly used in hydroponics and parts per million just is a proportion. It means you have one part in a million parts of something else, but it can be one part of solute in one million parts of solvent or one part of solute per one million parts of solution. So ppm does not tell you exactly what this comparison is made relative to. It's like if think about a percent, if you have 10%, do you have 10% relative to the solvent, to the solution? So PPMs is not usually telling you the units, but in chemistry, this PPM unit here is usually assumed to be these uh, milligrams per liter. So this was a basic introduction to the concept of concentration and the different units that can be used and the ones that we actually used in hydroponic solutions. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.